15 unexpected things you will only see in Brazil. What will be unexpected and what can we only see in Brazil? We're about to find out. I think oh. the only way is for us to go to Brazil. True, yeah, let's uh, leave the video. Let's go right now. Uh, dude, that's how we should do when we go to a country. We should be like, hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction. They're like, ah! And then we're get on a plane. Doing the old bamboozle, montage, yeah. Montage, suddenly we're there, you know? And then we still react to whatever video it is, yeah. but in person. Yeah, yeah. Dang, good idea. All right, let's do this. Brazil, if you enjoy, subscribe, like the video, let us know what other Brazil stuff we should check out in the comments. We do not know exactly what to check out, so yeah. suggestions are useful. Let's do it, Brasilia. Brazil doesn't do ah. things in small doses. Yup, this awesome South American country is larger than life, which is why millions of tourists flock to Brazil every year to soak up the culture and see the incredible sights. If you want a vacation like no other, brush up on your Portuguese and book yourself a ticket to the biggest country in South America. From beautiful floating islands yeah. to the world's most famous and fabulous carnival, these are, those are real tigers unexpected leopards? things you will only see in Brazil. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the, the notification Supreme. bell for more <laughs> lit content. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. Here we go. <laughs> Zeus. Number 15. That's an odd one. Anaconda Crossing. Oh, God. Oh, the my. Netherlands has built bridges for their rabbits to cross highways, and India waits patiently for holy cows to cross the road, and Brazil. They've got a whole other beast on their hands. Yup, Brazilians massive. have been sharing their street with giant green anacondas for years. These mega serpents are one of the largest snakes on earth. That's Jeepers. right, this is not just a freak occurrence that happens from time to time. In fact, it's a routine occurrence. Imagine cruising okay. down the road in your car and seeing one of these bad boys slithering right across your path. <laughs> yep. I would go up to him and be like, hey buddy. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly you'd be twitching inside. There'd just be a body shape of you in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, I would die. They should just dig some tunnels underneath for him. Just yeah. like a perfect snake sized tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be some like goat in the back still and he'd get stuck in the hole because it would still be digesting. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd just start slowly shoot, shooting out the back. <laughs> yeah. If you thought sitting in traffic was one of the worst things that could happen on your daily commute, think again. This gigantic 10 foot snake was trying to and jaywalk feet. Or should we say, Jay Slither? When people began to get out of their cars to halt incoming traffic and alert drivers of the huge reptile. Thanks to the help of these thoughtful onlookers, the bold snake reached his final destination safely. We've heard of a zebra crossing, but never an anaconda that is crossing. A big what would mother. you do if you saw this enormous snake coming towards you? You already would said you get out of yeah. your vehicle or just yeah. drive as far away as possible. Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 14, the, the tallest it? water oh. slide in the world. Oh, wow. This crazy water slide is as high as a 14-story building. What That's right, the? this Brazilian oh, ride my. is for the most extreme thrill seekers only. The famous Insano water slide sends people flying down a near vertical drop, reaching Jeez. speeds of up to 65 miles per hour. It's truly one of a kind and something you wouldn't experience anywhere else. Despite being 134 feet tall, the ride is over and done with in just five seconds. Jeez. Wow. Imagine lining up for this water slide all afternoon just for it to last a mere seconds. It must be really it's, worth it. Those the are notorious water slide oh. was built in 1989 and holds the official Guinness World Record for the highest water slide on Earth. So where can you find this free falling tower of terror? Where? That will be the famous beach park located in Aquirais, Brazil. Ooh, Amazing, yeah, nice right? Would any of you guys ever ride this terrifying water slide? Oh, number there's, I, I've gone on one of those like straight down slides before. It feels so weird because suddenly you're just like, mm -hmm, and this, it just feels like you're falling. Just, so it's like when you jump off and do the cliff jumping thing, yeah, basically. You float, because you don't actually, you're not actually on the slide. You're like floating up, you're like levitating next to the slide like this as you're just falling. Yeah, and then you get to the water. Yeah, and then just <laughs> It's very interesting. And I did one where it was like this and you stand on it, and then... It drops it you. It just goes whoosh, yeah. and you drop and you fall. It's That's <laughs> crazy. It's cool. Team, 
Fisherman and Dolphin Alliance. Ah. In Laguna, Brazil, dolphins have formed a very unlikely and totally unique alliance with a local fisherman. That's right, this symbiotic relationship has been going on for over 30 years, and both parties are interested in one thing and one thing only. Fish. Mullets. Oh, we aren't talking mullet. about the awesome hairstyle, though. Oh. We're, of course, talking about oh, the delicious up front, fish. Party in the back. So how does it all work? Great well, groups style. of up to yeah. 20 bottlenose dolphins work together to herd the schools of mullet fish towards the shore, where the Brazilian fishermen wait with their nets. The fishermen can't see the fish in the cloudy Laguna waters, and so the dolphins will slap their heads and fins against the waves to signal to their human buddies when it's time to cast their nets out. Whoa. This thrashing motion also works to break up the mullet fish into smaller groups, making them easier to catch. Pretty amazing, right? That's these crazy. fishermen are dependent on these epic dolphins to help them make their living, and elder dolphins will even teach the young dolphins how to help the fishermen catch mullet. Jeez. It's like something straight out of a Disney Pixar movie. Do they, they feed always the dolphins? Knew that dolphins were the most awesome of the sea creatures. They just get to grab and play with their food. Ever happen? Only in Brazil. Can Have we pass the dolphins? Anything quite like this before? Number twelve. Police riding buffaloes. What the? For over 25 years now, this unusual mode of transport has been the preferred choice for a police force serving near the Amazon River Delta. <laughs> the rough terrain in the region has always been a problem, but the cops here don't rely on quad bikes or jeeps. Instead, they've adopted the Asian water buffalo in order to get from A to B. But why buffaloes? Well, the answer is quite simple. They move faster through water and swamps than any other form of transport. Huh. And on the Amazon River island of Marajo, northern Brazil, it isn't just the police that make use of the area's huge buffalo population. You can also try a delicious scoop of buffalo ice cream, a slice of buffalo cheese, or even a juicy buffalo steak. Wow. Yep, Marajo pretty much worships the buffalo, and there are reports of up to a million of the furry horned creatures living on the island. What the, the local heck? legend states that a freight ship carrying the exotic Asian water buffalo crashed <laughs> like, on the coast in 1990, <laughs> and the ones that made it out of the shipwreck and onto the dry land multiplied, making this island the official second home for the water buffalo. Weird. You've got to admit, this is one of the seriously cool methods of transport, and a vehicle with fearsome horns is infinitely more impressive than a regular car. Mm. But what do you guys think? I think it's cool. Yeah, dude. Number 11. Oh, I'm excited this guy. He's got a hot dog thing. on his lightning bolt. Did you see that? Number That's a hot dog. That would like fry the hot dog. That would be unedible, unfortunately. Nice. It'd just be like a nice little char. Oh. The rest of it would be cold, but just the middle would just be on fire. Oh. 11 meeting of waters mm. where the rio negro and rio solimoish rivers meet up to form the lower amazon river an amazing natural phenomenon has occurred it goes by the name the meeting of waters and it really is something special a unique blend of different speeds temperatures and densities creates a spectacular visual display that lasts for six kilometers the awesome wow. sight is so significant that it can be viewed from space mm -hmm. while the rio negro river is a dark black color due to the plant material it picks up through the jungles of Colombia. The Rio Solomoish is a paler brown color due to the sediment it collects as it flows from the Andes Mountains. Wow. And Both color of those is would be scary to swim in. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Yeah. River is faster flowing while the Solomoish flows at a slower pace. Not only that, but there is a That's big so temperature black. difference between the two as well. They're both so All murky too. All these irreconcilable too. differences mean that when the two rivers finally clash in Brazil, their waters simply cannot merge together. It's a huge attraction for tourists who travel from all over the globe to witness this incredible force of nature. Mm -hmm. Just another reason why Brazil is such a unique and fascinating country. We'd love to take a boat trip to the meeting of waters, wouldn't you? Yeah. Number yeah, 10. dude. Feijoada, the national Feijoada. dish of Brazil. This is one plate of food that really represents the country perfectly. It's hearty, strong in flavor, and not for the weak. Oh. This adaptable bean stew was served everywhere bean in Brazil, stew. from fine dining restaurants to street vendors, and Brazilians can't get enough of this meaty dish. Yep, feijoada is the official taste of Brazil. The word feijo means bean in Portuguese, and the core ingredient of this unique dish is, of course, the black beans, beans which is then stewed over a low heat with salted pork, beef, and smoked sausage. 
We really oh. want to sample a bowl of this soul food. And if you don't have your plane ticket to Brazil booked yet, then hopefully you will run into one or two expat Brazilians selling this delicious delicacy at international food markets around the world. Hmm. Number nine. Uh, the world's right, largest cashew tree. <gasps> Can Weird. you imagine one giant tree that feels like an entire forest? It I might sound cashew. unbelievable, but it's totally Where real. came from that tree. Yep, the O Mayor Cajuero do Mundo is the world's largest cashew tree and it produces one of the world's oh most delicious gosh. nuts. We love cashew nuts, so we would definitely want to check out this enormous and abundant tree if we were ever to visit Brazil. A huge sprawling canopy envelopes the walkways surrounding this miraculous plant, that and it has insane, multiple yeah. trunks that spread across multiple two whole trunks. acres. You can find this beloved cashew tree nearby the beautiful Parangi Beach on Brazil's coast, and it's now a popular tourist attraction after entering the Guinness World Records in 1994. Have you ever seen a tree quite like this before? No. Number eight, the fire-friendly plant. It doesn't get any more unexpected than this. We've heard of life-saving plants in the Amazon, but what about a flower that comes back from the dead after a devastating wildfire? Yep, we've heard a lot about raging forest fires in Brazil over the last couple of years, but did you know that there's a unique flower in Brazil that actually springs into life straight after a fire has passed? Whoa. Yeah, just one day later, this hardy little plant experiences a super bloom, and it's stunning. Bulbosus paradoxa is a Brazilian plant that Bulbosus has adapted birds. to wildlife in the most astonishing way. While trees in the area are raised and destroyed, the fighter flower survives wow. and thrives. They can be found in the awesomely biodiverse savanna lands in the Cerrado in Brazil and are just one of the tens of thousands of amazing and unique species that live in the South American biome. Hmm. We've said wow. it before and we'll say it again. There's nowhere quite like, like Brazil. Urgent. It does, sort of. Number seven, Mount Roraima, oh, the yes, triple border. So cool. How on earth has a famous movie not been filmed here yet? This exquisite True. location is by far one of the most interesting border points in the world, dividing Brazil from Guyana and Venezuela. Mount Roraima rests in between the three countries wow. and is the highest of the Pocahontas mountain chain in South America. Isn't it stunning? Not only is it breathtaking, but it's also one of the oldest geological formations on the entire planet, dating back to about 2 billion years ago. Whoa, Dang. indigenous people in the oh, area had a deep respect no, for this mountainous sandstone plateau, which they believed was an ancient tree stump, felled from a gigantic tree that oh. held all of the fruit and vegetables in the world. When it was chopped down by trickster Makunaima, it is said that the epic tree crashed to the earth and caused a devastating flood. Today, traveling backpackers and climbers scale the it's mammoth triple backpack. bordered mountain and scientists rush to the spot to discover a new isolated species that have thrived on this unique and barren rock surface. Huh. What a truly amazing place Mount Roraima is. That would be super cool Another to see. Another jewel of Brazil. And then just climb straight up that vertical wall right there. I, yeah, I don't even think you need any gear. No. Just bare hands. Just, whoop, you could just, literally go naked. Just get some chalk. Chalk up your whole body. Yeah. And, and then just roll up it. Yeah, easy. It's Mount Roraima is another jewel of Brazil. Number five. So what does the average beach scene in Brazil look like? Well, there's plenty of tanning Jeez, and sunbathing to be seen, just like anywhere else in the world. However, there is something quite different about the beach Soccer volleyball? that makes Brazil so special. Being athletic in Brazil is just a normal way of life. So whether it's dancing, football, futsal, MMA, or volleyball, practically every Brazilian person possesses at least some basic skills in one of those sports. If you love soccer or football, then you will already know what an incredible reputation Brazil has on the world playing field. After all, they're the only country to have ever won five World Cup titles. Uh -huh. Yep, when the World Cup comes around Whoa, every four stadium. years, most Brazilians are even allowed to work part-time or not at <laughs> all in order to catch the Brazil games. Jeez. Okay, we'll admit it. 
We are kind of jealous. It's not only ball games like soccer and volleyball that the Brazilians excel in. Nope, martial arts such as capoeira and jiu-jitsu are a way of life in Brazil, and keeping fit and healthy in general is super important in this South American country. We can't think of another country that is more fitness obsessed. What about you guys? Number 4. Floating Island, Iguazu mm. Falls on the border of the Argentine province of Misiones and the Brazilian state of Paraná, there is a natural wonder that rivals Crazy. all others in the world. From the Guarani or Tupi words, Y, meaning water, and Uasu, meaning big. Jeez. Guaju literally translates to big water. And it big doesn't water come much bigger big. than this. Yep, this legendary Iguazu Falls may be one of the most beautiful waterfalls on the entire planet, but it's also the largest waterfall system in the entire world. It completely dwarfs Niagara Falls as Iguazu measures in at a whopping 269 feet compared to Niagara's height of 165 feet. We didn't think it was even possible to outshine Niagara Falls. With its 275 distinct falls and large floating islands, that exquisite South American waterfall system is like nowhere else on Earth. We think that it Think we could kayak down that? Do you think we could put ourselves in a barrel and float down it? I think we could. If we put the lid on the barrel really tight, we might be able to make it. Let's try it when let's, we go to Brazil. Let's try it. Let's try it. And then we can have... Like, what's that Brazilian ice cream called? I can't think of what it is. I'm not sure. Uh, I forgot. The water buffalo ice cream that they yes, were talking about earlier. Yeah. It looks like a location straight out of a thrilling adventure movie. How did Brazil get so lucky? We really want to go and check this phenomenal waterfall out. What do you guys think of the Iguazu Falls? It's, it's cool. cool. <laughs> Number three, Carnaval. Does your hometown host a carnival? Yeah. Well, you might as well forget about your local festivals, dance parties, and street fests because the it truth exactly is that like nothing that. really yeah. compares to it's Brazil's like carnival yeah. scene, and even more specifically, Whoa. the Rio What's carnival. What's up with that camel? Yep, Not it's doing the too party hot. to end all parties, and the hottest carnival in the entire world. You just can't beat it. This insane bash Jake first Myers. began way wow. back in 1723. Dang. How did they the allow those to be there? And it's <laughs> going from strength in 1723. And the week running up to Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are dangerous. I guess yeah. they, have, they have the fence. Yeah, but. they won't get anybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone from strength to strength ever since. Loud, colorful costumes, banging music, and millions of party-loving people all combined in this legendary Samba Drone Marquet de Sapucay oh. venue, and the atmosphere is always totally electric. And that isn't even half of it. Outside the Samba Drone, over 300 street parties take place, bringing the whole city to life. This is one party where everyone is invited, including the rest of the world. If you ever dreamed of traveling to Brazil, then the beginning of each calendar year really is the best time to go out and get a true Brazilian experience. Bring your best feathered headdress, and we'll meet you at the Samba Drone. Oh, <gasps> I don't, I don't two, have my headdress Capoeira. today. Oh. Get ready for a martial art like no other, a fighting dance that has evolved over the decades and centuries, stemming from the rich cultural diversity and forming Brazil from over four different Whoa, continents. It's thought to have originated in the 16th century as a method of fighting and self-defense used by enslaved Africans and disguised as a dance. Nowadays, this art is a phenomenon all over the world, but Brazil is still the home of capoeira. The Jenga, a rocking step, is at the center of this complex dance, keeping the capoeira in a constant state of motion while they fight Jeez. in the rota, which is a circle formed of singers and musicians that provide the rhythm for the capoeira match. Oh Yet my. there's no other discipline quite like the unique art of capoeira, and it's been an important part of the Brazilian culture for centuries totally do that. now. If you want Same. to give it a go, then you don't have to travel to South America, as there are lots of schools all over the world where you can get involved. <laughs> but if you want to get right to the heart of this awe-inspiring martial art, you simply must head to its birthplace in Brazil for the true Capoeira oh, experience. I just want to learn how to do a backflip. <laughs> Passions for the forest. 
As much as we've heard stories about logging and degradation in Brazil, one thing is absolutely for sure. The people of Brazil have a fierce loyalty to Mother Nature unlike anywhere else in the world. While Brazil unfortunately faces huge amounts of industry and logging that threatens their forests, including the precious Amazon rainforest, there are people out there fighting to make sure the country has a bright and luscious future instead of a barren one. This awesome Brazilian couple regrew an entire forest in the Minas Gerais state in just 20 wow. years, and their wow. work is not done yet. Just by planting native plants and trees on the lifeless, degrading plot of land, Brazilian photojournalist Sebastio Ribeiro Salgado and his wife, Lelia de Luz Juanic Salgado, managed to revive their old cattle ranch and transform it into a living, breathing forest that boasts 300 species of trees and saw the return of over 170 species of birds, 30 species wow, of mammals, and 15 species Lizzie. of reptiles oh, and amphibians. Like that's right, bird. this inspiring Brazilian couple brought a forest back to life, and hopefully many more all over the world will follow in their footsteps. Hopefully, There's yeah, only definitely. one planet Earth after all. True that. We told you that Brazil right. was an awesome place. Yep, this vibrant country is truly one of a kind. Definitely. There's just nowhere else quite Why like it, it on the planet. We're officially adding Brazil to our bucket list. What about you guys? I got just a bucket. So many unexpected things Did you put it in your bucket? In the bucket? Is the list the inside of the bucket? Sure. Whoa! Only in Australia you can get kicked into the ocean. I was looking at the right picture. Only in somewhere you can get your hands cut open and dried out. Then you can eat it. So many cool things that we need to check out when yeah. we go there. A lot of natural things that look really yeah. cool. A lot of just like cultural things as well. That mountain on the three borders, that one looks sick. That, that waterfall insane. is insane. Yeah. I want to pet dolphin. I want to pet water buffalo. I want to pet anaconda. Yes, there's so many pets to have. But uh, yeah, Brazil just looks super cool. It, it's such a big country, it'll be so hard to get around it. And we'll be very confused. Yeah, so we'll be like, uh, hello, gringos no snow how to speak Portuguese. <laughs> but you know what gringos regum, you know? Mm hmm gringos regum. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, like the video, let us know what other Brazil stuff we need to check out in the comments. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.